Kansas City Public Schools are delaying a return to in-person learning because of increases in COVID-19. On the Kansas side, schools may have to send kids back home. Betsy Webster heard one parent's concerns and joins us tonight with what she learned. Betsy? Well, right, I got a call from a mom who didn't want to go on camera, but she noticed a pretty significant uptick in one of the school gating criteria metrics. And she wanted to know, is the school district going to stand by its plan to go remote if the health department says they're in the red zone? Well, here's what I found out. Olathe's elementary kids went back to school in person four weeks ago with masks, distancing, sanitizing, and ventilation protocols in place. Shawnee Mission Schools started the youngest a week later in hybrid mode, only today, bringing them in full time. Here's the district spokesman. We want to be consistent. We don't. We want to try to avoid the yo-yo back and forth, up and down. So that's why we sort of started slow. The concern involves this county chart, what they call gating criteria. The number one factor is incidence rate, the number of positives in a two-week average per 100,000 people. The red zone, where things go all remote, is 251 or more. As of today, that number is 248 and has been climbing for at least two weeks. But that's not the only factor the health department considers. This chart is percent positivity rate, the number of new positives divided by the number of people tested. That sits in the yellow at 7.4%, though it is also ticking up. The county health department looks at those two factors as well as what they call modifying variables, four of them to decide red, orange, yellow, or green. In light of all the pressure districts faced this summer from parents pushing for sports and in-school learning, we pressed on whether Shawnee Mission would abide by what the health department recommends if they go to red. We are close collaborators with them and we plan to follow their advice. Plan to, is that a promise? Um, I don't make promises because you know there are lots of things that could potentially intervene. He would not give us hypothetical examples, but said they're prepared to go remote if needed. Because we've come from you know the uh, remote environment through hybrid, we know how to do it. So if we have to, we can go back to that. A key thing to remember is that where schools stand in this uh, 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 system is has nothing to do with how many kids or staff members have coronavirus. It has to do with the numbers in the entire county in the community. So the best thing you can do to ensure that the learning stays as planned is to take those steps you need to do and encourage others to take the steps to keep the spread down. Reporting live in Overland Park, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV5 News.